how to turn this into this. I'm assuming that you have a Rhino model or a Sketcher model, doesn't really matter. First thing we're going to do is to adjust the lighting. We're going to have a bit of a mix of soft shadow as well as the hard shadow. You can go to display property to set the softness of the shadow. I'm not even going to export this. I'm just going to capture screen because the resolution is high enough. The Auto 1111 interface is really easy to use. There's a bunch of YouTube tutorials out there. So here we're going to use image to image, obviously, because we're importing an image and we're exporting an image. Adjust the resolution so that it fits the frame. Scroll down all the way to control net. Enable the plugin. Check the low VRAM box. Choose the neural model here. Um, in this case, it's canny. Bump up the denoising strength all the way to one. Now we're good to go. Well, not yet because we haven't figured out what the prompt is. Go to Lexica, which can search the prompt by style. Illustration style. What about Ghibli? I actually like Ghibli. I really do. Yeah, let's go for Ghibli. Copy the prompt and paste it into the Stable Diffusion UI. And that's it. We're good to go. Like, seriously, that's it. Well, obviously not all of them are usable. Like, there are glitches here and there. But choose the ones that are usable. Let's say I like number 19, I'll just go for seat number 19, but in different views. Well, in this case, you just hold the seat number constant as 19 and you just put in different images. And they're going to be in similar style, but in different views. It could get a bit fuzzy sometimes, you know, the edges are not really that clear. Um, in this case, I'm actually going to overlay the line drawing on top of the colored image. And the result is just stunning, promising. So I'll see you next time. Yeah, peace out.